Hello there, I am Black Bite, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you know the drill. Well, you probably don't know the drill, but you may know the drill. Thumbs up, thumbs down, share and subscribe and interact with my lovely subscribers. Um, yeah, I wanted to share something with you because, you know, in this time of lockdown and only essential workers being allowed out, and I'm, I know the regular people can go out for exercise and stuff and do their shopping, but we're still on a relatively strict shutdown. So if you see people driving in cars particularly, they're usually essential workers. And as essential workers, we have to bear in mind that they will be feeling vulnerable. They do have to visit people who they don't know whether or not they're going to catch the coronavirus. They're in close contact with vulnerable people. And so they're probably quite stressed about what they're doing, how they're getting to work, why they have to go to work. And even if they don't want to go to work, they feel compelled to go to work because of the circumstances. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because in the midst of all of this, when you think that essential workers can be going to work and coming home with relative peace of mind, this is what's happening. Hello. Essential work and travel only. Yeah? Is this essential work? Is this essential work? Is this essential? Mate, is this essential? The only people, there's 10% of cars on the road. The only cars that are on the road are doctors, nurses, essential workers, yeah? Or people, I'm going out, just going to get my mum her shopping. Is this essential? Is it, mate, is it essential? At least we've stopped. Thing is, is that you wouldn't you wouldn't think that at a time like this the police would be monitoring people speeding on the roads. I mean, can you imagine some of those um, essential workers or nurses? These are people who are even worried about their visas. At one point, they thought, "Oh, if their visas had expired, they'd automatically get a." Uh, it get it renewed automatically by the 31st of May. Now they're being told that it's not automatic. They have to apply. So they've got all of those kind of things on their mind on top of got leaving one vulnerable child to see another vulnerable child, to see one vulnerable adult, to see another vulnerable adult, mixing up with all different families from all different places, and they do not know whether or not they're safe every time they leave from one house to the other. All they want to do is do their job and get home. And in the lay-by are the old bill, waiting to see who they can find, waiting to see who they can get a little extra money from. I know they have to do their job. And I know that essential workers and NHS, whoever they are, are not meant to be breaking the law. But it just goes to show we have too much police with nothing to do, with not enough to do, I should say. Or maybe they consider that as being essential. Maybe they consider monitoring the speeds on these roads as essential. But I, I just think they should give people a little slack, honestly. I mean, unless they're really, really speeding, and then that is questionable. But I guess if you wouldn't know if they're really, really speeding unless you're watching them. So I'm not saying that the police should, okay, I'm not saying that essential workers should get away with speeding and breaking the rules of the road. But what I'm saying is, is that, you know, at this time, you know, the police should take into consideration that you're dealing with people who are very fragile. At this time, essential workers in particular, 
a lot of them are saying, yeah, you you think that they're happy to go to work, but they're very scared. They're scared about interacting with other people. And when you think about nurses and doctors, what they are going through each day, and then on top of it, they might get slapped with a fine after they doing where what after they're trying to save the country because that is what they're doing. They're out there and the essential workers are there to keep the country moving. So why the hell would you have the police out there trying to catch them out for speeding? And it wouldn't surprise me if it's only two because there's no there's no um, tolerance limit. You know, now it used to be, I think you had a two to three mile leeway. There's no leeway anymore. So even if you're one mile over the limit, they can nab you for it. But I just thought I'd share that with you. You can have my, if, I, if I'd like to have your views or your comments um, about that. What do you think? Do you think the police still have a right or not a right? Of course, they have a right. Do you think that should be one of their priorities? Checking cars that are speeding, sneakily in a lay-by. I don't know if, you know, like with some of these, um, what do you call it? Not a speedometer. What do you call those tom-tom things? Oh, I can't get my words today. But anyway, those ones, sat-nav, that's it. Some of those sat-navs are equipped with um, cameras. They can spot. They can warn you when there's a camera or somebody's watching you. But I don't know if they pick up on mobile cameras. So um, if they don't, then there'll be a lot of people getting a fine on top of all of this. And I wonder how many people would talk about it. I wonder how many people would come out and say, how many of those essential workers would come out and say, you know, I got a ticket while I was on the way to the hospital. I was trying to save a life. How are they going to know what those people are speeding? How do they know whether or not they're going, you know, they're speeding to save a life? They won't know. Anyway, that's just a quickie. Bye-bye.